Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here on Passage of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. We're going to be doing a hype train for Wreck It Ralph 2. The new trailer teaser that's actually been sent out called Wreck It Ralph Breaks the Internet or Ralph Breaks the Internet. I've already watched this and I have opinions, so I'm going to talk about them now for the next couple of minutes while this is playing in the background. But essentially, with Wreck It Ralph 2, they're deciding to take Ralph out of the arcade and send him onto the internet. And spreading his wreck it mentality and destroying oh, things right. unintentionally. Oh, plan. the poor old boy. I've been essentially looking at this trailer a few times now, What's and with the or, concept of actually wife? literally just just making go Ralph in. just go to a new place to wreck things, and just without the actual kind of like overarching, I'm a bad online. guy and that's okay kind of storyline. I'm not madly enthused because essentially. It worked for the arcade world. It worked for the world where he essentially anything he did, anything he damaged while he was there, was going to actually have an impact his environment because then the games were going to get shut down and they were actually no longer going to be played. Their, their world would end up sensibly. With the internet, nothing's going to end. There's nothing you can really do to completely remove it. And all we're going to be doing this for is to get as many branded locations and icons and companies as you possibly can on screen. And a few really internet jokes about like things that we all see at all, oh, yeah. Things like BuzzFeed articles that we can see. I'm just feeling a little bit underwhelmed with the trailer as it's actually been shown so far. It's not that it's like really, really, really bad. Yeah, it's going to look really good. It's going to have a few funny bits. I like some of the jokes that are done in this trailer. But it doesn't feel like they've really kind of grown on. They've yeah, just actually like tacked on in the external world, which is the modern sense of gaming, which makes a lot of sense because the arcade world of the original movie was very nostalgic. It was um, probably applying a lot more to the parents watching it than the kids playing it or watching it. And this is going to pretty much make jokes about the culture that we have of games, especially this little teaser bit where it's actually like swipe games of left and right. Which is probably going to scar some children so, so horribly. The bunny gets the pancake. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for actually watching my quick two minutes opinion on the game or on, on the, the movies of the games of the things that we're going to be seeing very soon. This is going to be a huge, huge hit, but I'm actually now not so enamored with the actual... I'm not so enamored with what they're planning to do with Wreck-It Ralph. It's like it's That's the into problem. My... It... If, if, if they had maybe done connectivity with the rest of the world, kind of like being introduced to the internet and actually going like, well, now we got all the games connected. Now we have online leaderboards where people compete with each other and you actually see it being done that way. Where they actually might be exposed to a new environment rather than actually literally just lifting these two characters and putting them elsewhere. I, if that's all this is, I'm feeling immediately underwhelmed. And if you actually have any thoughts or you think that I'm talking out of my ass completely, feel free to say so in the comments underneath. Hit the dislike button, but maybe maybe this should have should have been a one and done. Does Wreck It Ralph really need to be a franchise? I was so happy about it whenever I heard about it the first time, but I'm feeling less enamored with it with time. Maybe that's just me being an old curmudgeon. That could be the case. But if you actually think that's the case, then make sure to tell me you think so in the comments below. If you haven't been watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a couple of boxes popping up above. One of them's going to be a hype train playlist. It'll be right there. Up there will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on the YouTube analytics and the things you do on YouTube. It'll pick a video of something that I have done that you will like, and we'll put it here. So I highly recommend you click that one. And now that I click on that, make sure to hit all the subscribes, likes, dislikes, and all the other things that you see around whatever source that you find this on. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.